Church leaders, activists and politicians in Taiwan bow their heads in a moment of silence to honour the victims of an apparent hate crime thousands of kilometres away in California. The violence has shaken Taiwanese communities at home and abroad. On Tuesday, a California court charged 68-year-old Taiwanese-American David Zhou with first-degree murder and nine other charges. State prosecutors are seeking the death penalty after he allegedly opened fire on members of Irvine Taiwanese Presbyterian Church, killing one and injuring five. Authorities say he expressed hatred of Taiwanese and Zhou has been linked to China-backed groups helping Beijing in its goal to take over Taiwan. In Taiwan's capital, religious and political leaders urged the government to face up to hate speech from groups which push China's claims. The Chinese Communist Party considers Taiwan as part of its own territory, despite never having ruled it. Taiwan society is divided. Younger generations increasingly identify as Taiwanese rather than as Chinese. I mean, as complicated as it could be, it's actually a, a simple divide that's uh, about how people in Taiwan will imagine their relationship with Taiwan should be. Whether it should be that Taiwan should be part of China and at the same time, you would likely to hold a Chinese identity so that you think yourself as Chinese. So you want Taiwan to be part of China. On the other hand, a uh, majority of people in Taiwan do believe they're Taiwanese. They're not part of China. Reports suggest Zhou's family has roots in the people who fled from China to Taiwan during the Chinese Civil War in the middle of the last century. These people are more likely to see Taiwan and China as one nation. Joel reportedly sent a US-based Taiwanese newspaper a seven-volume journal titled Diary of an Independence-Destroying Angel, which is now in the hands of the police. The Orange County Sheriff's Department said Joel fostered a grievance against the Taiwanese community and was upset about the political tensions between China and Taiwan. On Wednesday evening, the Taiwan Presbyterian Church in California held a joint online prayer service. And from a pastor who was at the church on Sunday, Details of how the community subdued the killer. The Taiwan Presbyterian Church in California is coming to terms with the hate inflicted upon its community. But the act of violence has also forced Taiwan's leaders to re-examine the threats facing a divided nation. Alex Chen, Bing Wang and Rick Glowett for Taiwan Plus.